Dr. Mandy, we'll do our next video sometime next week. Or we'll talk about procrastination coming up on today's video. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. I'm Justin Hebert. Joined now again, as always, by Dr. Hugh Beatty. Yes. Welcome back. You enjoyed the video off. I had a fantastic interview uh, with some some very exciting things mm -hmm. that you're getting ready to bring into the office and, and more ways to help people. And mm -hmm. doesn't it fit the topic of today's video, Dr. Beatty? Mm -hmm. We are continuing our look at Napoleon Hill's 30 Causes of Failure. Yes. And we're talking procrastination. And it's easy to put things off far too often in the future, isn't it? It is. And that's why I'm a procrastinate getting started with those supplements, those new plant-based vitamins. Yeah, yeah. You know, that was just, they came out here for no reason. Yeah. I'm going to delay it for about six months. I'm not going to scan anybody. <laughs> I don't really want my patients to get well. Yeah. So just put it off. You just guys wait. are good. Take a break until midsummer sometime, then come see me. Yeah. Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> right. But that's, I mean... We can laugh at that mm -hmm. joke. We far too often mm -hmm. carry that mindset around with us, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, Dr. Right. Beatty, when I, when I worked in the gym, I'd talk to everybody on a Friday, mm -hmm. and I would say, hey, when does your diet start? And what's, what's the answer I'd always get? Diet starts Monday, yes. right? And then Monday comes around like, well, yeah, but I got my kid's baseball game tonight, mm -hmm. so I'll, I'll start it tomorrow. Yes. You know, the only time you can start to improve, it's today. Yes, Because right tomorrow now. will never get here. Yes, that's why the presence is such an important concept because it's a presence, a gift from God. Yeah. And you got to do it now because when you procrastinate, guess what ends up happening? Usually you are procrastinating on the things that are most important for you to do. Yes. You, you procrastinate on the big things. So you do the small things. I saw a video the other, guy, other day when this professor was talking to his class and he had a, a jar and he was putting uh, things in a jar. And so initially he put golf balls in. You may have seen it. And they, he asked the class, is it full? And they said, no. And then he put uh, rocks in it. Is the jar full? Some of them said yes. And then after that, he put sand. He says, is it now full? They said yes. He said, what did you learn by all this? He said, you, and if, if you do the small things first, if you focus on the small things, you'll never accomplish the big mm -hmm. things. So you always want to do the big things first. Yes, absolutely. And far too often, I, mm -hmm. I, I think because of our own, our own story, the way we get stuck in our head, it's those big things that we want to delay, right? It's yes. it's the diet. It's the mending mm -hmm. the relationship. It's the fixing of the finances. Mm -hmm. It's starting that business, right? Is a common one that I run into with people. <clears throat> and it's because while there may be some legitimate fears or maybe at the very least concerns that we need to be aware of in this quest, whatever it is we're on, we allow those concerns to become fears. Yes. And as I've said before, fear is a liar, right? Yes, and fear is. distorts the truth. And so, well, I know I need to, I know I need to, to eat healthier, mm -hmm. but now I need to give up ice cream and chocolate <laughs> and cookies. I can never have any fun ever again. And if that's the place we go to, of mm -hmm. course, I don't change the diet. Mm -hmm. But if I say I need to get healthier for my kid's sake, and mm -hmm. I, that means I'm willing to gain mm -hmm. health rather than give up mm -hmm. these things, it becomes much easier to get started. Yeah, I like that concept that fear is a liar because God did not give us a spirit of fear mm -hmm. and God is not a liar. And in addition to that, fear is false evidence appearing real. So the thing is, what I tell patients all the time, I walk in faith in my practice mm -hmm. and I don't trust in me. I trust in God. And because he did not give me a spirit of fear, I don't have to fear things. I can yeah. just go on boldly and take on things. The challenge I have, sometimes I get overwhelmed with all the things I want to do. Yes. And these, uh, you know, the, the ladies that came this week that work with me on the antioxidant scanner and the plant-based vitamins they saw that and they gave yeah. me some recommendations i kind yeah. of felt like moses and jethro <laughs> remember the story yeah, of moses yeah. and Jeth <laughs> trying to take on all the stuff by myself yeah but yeah, at least i help. wasn't procrastinating yeah but. yeah absolutely and so let's talk about it dr Brady. it's a good mm -hmm. thing the air conditioner is off right now because i want you to feel a little bit of heat <laughs> yes dr Brady, how's your book coming along oh not good <laughs> i feel bad about that uh, but it's good that you bring it up because I constantly tell myself, you said probably about six months ago, at, at, at least focus on 300 words a day. Yeah. And I, I hear that echo in my head all the time. <laughs> but I'm not, there's a couple of things that uh, I plan on doing that, that in the future uh, with Candy. Um, and so I don't really want to reveal it right now on okay. YouTube. You got some but big I'll things tell coming you, up. Yeah. And it's going to involve you. Okay. okay all right. So, <laughs> so if I hopefully you say yes. Yeah. But those things, so we still constantly are trying to go forward yeah. and focus on the important things that we need to do. And that book is very important because, in fact, 
I was talking to a friend of mine as I was driving here this morning, and I said, there's four big things I want to accomplish this year, and the book was included. So. Yeah, well, that that's good. And and really, th- that shift. So in, in you know Napoleon Hill's work, he's talking about you know procrastination, mm-hmm. and it's really this uh, delay towards getting started. Mm-hmm. And I yeah. know that you and I have spoken on the channel before mm-hmm. about really just the importance to get started. It, 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 you got started writing the book, you got started mm-hmm. going to conferences, you got started mm-hmm. in wellness, and at no point in time mm-hmm. in any of that would you have said, hey, I know it all, now I can start, right? We don't ever begin mm-hmm. with complete information. I did a, a speaking engagement a couple of months ago, and people are like, how long have you been in business? And I, like, I had to stop and think, Dr. Brady, this is, this is year 10 for me. Mm-hmm. And I look at where my practice started 10 years ago, and where it's at now, and they're not even remotely close to the same oh, business. Yeah. And if I would have waited until mm-hmm. I know what I know now to get started, mm-hmm. the real answer is I would have never gotten started doing, mm-hmm. you know, being a business owner. Mm-hmm. And so how do we encourage viewers to take seriously the need, mm-hmm. even with incomplete or, or unaware in, uh, portions within whatever they're facing, how do we encourage them to get started and, and not face that procrastination? Just don't practice analysis paralysis. Mm. And so many people do that. They want to analyze, overanalyze, and it paralyzes them. Just sometimes you can't learn things until you get started. When God told Abraham to go to a place that we show him, he didn't tell him where exactly that place was. Yeah. But get started, I'm going to show you. Yeah. And so in my quest of learning wellness, I'll never forget uh, my ex-wife at the time, I called her up and I said, I learned some some very important information of, about how to achieve wellness in patients. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how I'm going to get paid. I don't know how this is going to work out, but I got to do it. I cannot it. look back. That's right. And so I see that in so many things. In fact, I had a patient that came to me the other day. She just became a Medicare age. She hadn't been here for like seven, eight months. And she said, wow, Dr. Bay, so many things are different. Your office inside is different. And I said, yeah, but there's so many other things that I'm doing differently since you were last mm-hmm. year. I said, I never stop growing. And the thing is, it, thing is, if you haven't seen me or been to my practice for a while, you're going to encounter that, that yeah. change in yeah. that group. And well, and even Dr. Betty, I think we could mm. speak to this video and we were just sharing off set. Like our yeah. very first videos were on a single phone <laughs> oh, in your yeah. back room. There was terrible lighting. <laughs> right. We were cutting our heads off. Right. I didn't know how to edit any videos. <laughs> right. Like our, our first videos were mm. legitimately terrible videos. Yes. But guess what? Almost two years mm. into this, right. We've got lights and multiple cameras, and mm-hmm. I can cut angle now, and we right. have like everything is set up. And not only has the, the quality of the video gotten better, mm-hmm. but Dr. Betty, our content has gotten better, but we oh, didn't yeah. know everything when we started out. We no. just said, hey, Dr. Betty, let's partner together on this. Mm-hmm. And, and wouldn't you know it, two years later, mm-hmm. we have made substantial mm-hmm. progress in mm-hmm. multiple areas and growth, mm-hmm. both personally and professionally. Yeah, and people are watching our videos yes. slowly but surely. I'm seeing comments here and there. I think at some point, Justin, we're going to reach a critical mass where it's going to take off. Yes. And then people are going to go back and look at our other videos and say, wow, where these guys been? It's like what I hear now when patients say to me, you know, how long have you been in Bakersfield? How long have you been doing wellness? And I tell them they're blown away. Yeah. I said, I've been in Bakersfield yeah. 20 six years i've been practicing wellness for over 10 why why did i never heard of you i said because you weren't, weren't looking You're for me attention. if you weren't looking for me how are you that's gonna right. find me that's so. right yeah and it's that idea of that critical mass and that mm-hmm. big breakthrough moment that really yeah. defines those who experience success right steve jobs shares the story of you know it took him 10 years to become an overnight success and the truth is that it will be the same for your journey as well. And if you listen to that voice of procrastination, if you delay getting started, if the diet always starts tomorrow, you will never get to the destination in life that you're happy with. So if you are serious about your growth and serious about reaching your full potential, the only choice that you have is to start today. We want to help you on that journey. So make sure that you are liked and subscribed. Go ahead and leave a comment of what that big goal is you're chasing so that we can support you and help encourage you on. This is Dr. Beatty. I'm Justin Hebert. Thanks for joining us and we will see you on a future video. The timing will never be perfect. And that's the unfortunate reality for all of us in any area of growth. And so if you're sitting here mindlessly scrolling through YouTube, I want to challenge you to make this be the last video that you see. It's okay to get off and engage in the world around you. Your family needs you, your business needs you, your finances need you, your community needs you to show up. And if you are waiting for perfect conditions, you will never set sail. And so now is the the time for you to step forward, step boldly into the future that you want. You see that vision of where you'd like to end up. It happens through intentional behavior and it can't happen if you stay scrolling. So thanks for watching, but now you're done. Go get after it.